we go. I'd like to call this special meeting of the Middletown City Council to order. Would you please rise and join me in a moment of meditation and a pledge of allegiance to the flag. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Kapar, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Armbruster. Here. Mr. Becker. Here. Ms. Ford. Here. Ms. Jones. Here. Mr. Marconi. Present. Mr. Mulligan. Here. Mr. Schiavone. Here. Thank you. This special meeting tonight is to consider um, and, and discuss the one quarter percent income tax uh, that was placed on the ballot. Our legislation was passed in December. And uh, from the discussion at the work session last Tuesday evening, uh, to consider uh, removing that. I believe council has legislation in front of them. Uh, Mr. Landon, would you like to review that, please? Uh, just, just to kind of summarize what's happened since last Tuesday when this was initially discussed, uh, council instructed me to go forth and find out what we could find out about removing this from the ballot. Uh, I was advised by Betty McGarry, who is the uh, I believe she's the executive director of the uh, Butler County Board of Education uh, of election that, uh, it's been a long day, uh, that uh, we would need to have something to her no later than the 18th for it to actually remove from the ballot. Now the alternative to that is if nothing was done before the 18th, it could be left on the ballot, but notification could be given at the polling places that the ballots on this particular issue would not be counted because council had withdrawn it. That information was um, was submitted out to council. Uh, at that point, the mayor made a request for a special meeting uh, to discuss the issue. Uh, there are two items of legislation potentially in front of you, depending on where you decide to go. Uh, the first item is a resolution, um, an emergency resolution to withdraw the matter from the ballot. Again, if we file that before the end of this week, then it will, it will not actually be printed on the ballot. The second item is, rather, is a bit of a cleanup that accompanies that. There is an ordinance change that was passed to implement or begin the change in our ordinance reflecting the additional quarter percent. Since that ordinance cannot become effective unless and until there's a vote on this, uh, that ordinance is being repealed uh, if council decides to go that direction. So those are the two pieces of legislation. They are both emergencies. We'll have to go through the waiving the charter and we'll have to read both of them. You all have both pieces of legislation in front of you as is required by the charter. That's where we are at this point. Okay. Thank you. The uh, purposes Mr. Landon discussed was to um, allow council to present their views as we debated last week, thought we had a very good debate upstairs uh, regarding the merits of uh, either moving forward with the tax levy or removing it from the ballot. Uh, the majority of council, uh, based on the motion put forth by Councilman Marconi, uh, determined that uh, we should consider uh, the possibility of uh, rescinding that from the ballot. And I think this is the next logical step to require the legislation to do so. Uh, so with that, I just open it up for um, discussion amongst council uh, regarding the uh, proposed legislation and follow-up from last week's meeting. Uh, perhaps I'll start. Okay. Um, as we discussed in our work session, um, I had supported uh, Mr. Marconi's views. Um, certainly, I think we're all in agreement with the fact that our city is in need of um, capital repairs, specifically street repairs. However, at this time, my personal view is that as considering we just um, approved a police and fire levy by the taxpayers, I just feel that we need to give them a little time time to process that, um, and as Ms. Scott Jones had aptly put, um, kind of um, earn our way with the um, voters and uh, give it a few months to kind of 
kind of earn, our, earn their trust back. So I think people need just a little time with that, and I think we would maximize our success if we tried the levy at a later date. Thank you. Hmm? Other thoughts on the merits of legislation? The comment I have is the fact that, uh, first of all, I'm going to let you all know right now, I'm going to agree to take it off tonight. I'm going to vote for that. But the comments I want to make is that I've been fortunate to have a different side people approach me, whether it be in the grocery stores, different restaurants in the community and so forth, to the fact that uh, they supported it. Um, they're sad that they don't have an opportunity to vote for the streets, uh, to have it on the ballot this March. Uh, we did have good support. Um, I think the support is still there. I think it's um, lacking a plan. I don't think that's really an issue. Uh, I still feel that Mr. Durich could have pulled the plan out of this this drawer, I'm sure, that he's had for the last one year, two years, three years. So I really don't think that was an issue. Um, I, I, I hear what your issues are. I don't 100% agree with them, but I think for the importance of the unity of the community and of council, I am going to agree to take it off. But at the same time, I want my people who know who come forward and either stopped into my business, either made a phone call, or who I saw at local stores in, in this community, I want them to know that I did listen. I did hear positive comments. I did hear two negative comments that was registered with me tonight at the uh, chamber reception at the seniors, and, um, and I took it under advisement as well. Um, once again, I don't clearly understand why we're taking it off, uh, and yet I've heard your reasons, but I don't 100% agree. But um, uh, that's the beauty of... Um, um, being America, we can uh, agree to disagree and we'll move on. And uh, I'm mad enough to uh, accept that and uh, make the necessary decision. So um, once again, you know what my uh, thoughts are, and yet you know how I'm going to vote tonight. So um, I've said enough. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Vice Mayor, I appreciate uh, what you're saying, but I think, you know, if you read the Middletown Journal today, uh, there was an article in the editor section and you know and I thought that you know the way it was spelled out I wrote the article and the way the reasons I thought were very logical but I also gave a plan I also gave a four or five point plan that was just to outline a rough draft but I think that the main thing with me one of the main things is a plan, you, you mentioned Mr. Durich and our city um, engineer. A plan of the conditions of the streets that rated from bad to worse to good, whatever, that in itself is not a plan. That's a plan. That All that is is telling us what streets are good, what are bad, and so forth. You know, my whole thing with all of this is... I think we need to create a plan, a solid plan, and I'm not going to waver from this, that will produce results. That's the bottom line. I think that's what our citizens are looking at. And I hope anyone here and watching on TV would please read the journal today and, you know, to make it clear why the reasons that I felt so strongly about it and also... Obviously, last week, three other council members here felt so strongly about it. And then a rough draft of where, how we need to get there. So, thank you. We, we've been down this road several times. I think we put a street levy on. I know in the, in the last, and this would be the third time for streets only in the last five or ten years or something like that. It's been soundly defeated each time. The last, the 2020, obviously it was too much. People said no. We were, we did pass a public safety. And I think we need to do this right. And, I, and that's why I think it's time to take a breath, step back. First of all, give our citizens some breathing room. It, it's Everybody knows taxes are going up, but it's, it's been tough in Middletown as in other places. But step back, put, as Tony says, a plan together that makes sense that we can live with. We know the streets are bad, and Mr. Durch can come in here and show us what are the worst streets. I happen to live on one that's pretty bad. They did fix a pothole this week. But doggone it, let's, let's take our time 
and bring it back to this community with the best available plan, put some heads together and decide what we can afford, how long it's going to take, and prioritize our streets. I'm, I, for one, still believe that we do the thoroughfare system where you can get in and out of this town on great streets and we move into the neighborhoods as we can afford to. But something like that, everything get on the table and get the right people at the table. Give us time. It, it, will, it has to come back. But let's make it 100% effort. And we can't do that in a short period of time. There's a lot going on in the first part of the year with, with Ms. Gilliland just getting here. There's plenty to do without rushing towards judgment. Our streets will not get that much worse in this short period of time. We can live, and if we can get this thing passed, in the next four or five years, you will see market improvement. If it fails, then we're right back to where we were. So I, I'm for holding off until later in the year. Other thoughts from council? Ms. Scott Jones or Dave? Well, um, the way I see this thing, and, and, I, and I would be the first to stand up and support anybody who's going to debate any issue that comes before this council, and I, and I always have. And I think it's important that we have our time to debate issues and then make decisions, which we did in through November and into December with the council that was seated last year. We did debate this issue. We debated the merits of going in March versus waiting. We debated the, the issue of um, a sunset clause versus a permanent tax. And the council that was seated last year decided to put the issue on, uh, on the ballot as it is right now with the conditions that we set, we set forth. And I, I have a problem with the council now seated this year overturning that decision. And I think that's, that's the issue that, that's really at hand now. Um, I think the, the public des deserve the right to vote on the issue that was presented to this public by the council that was seated last year. What you've done tonight, what you are going to do tonight, um, is taking away the vote of the people of this community. I don't see where um, it would have been a problem to put the plan in place. Dur Mr. Dirch has been working on this plan for quite some time. We, we know uh, we've been faced with this issue for quite some time. Um, I don't think the plan is the issue at all. And, um, to, to delay it is to continue to allow these streets to deteriorate uh, to a point where it's going to cost even more money when we finally are able to get additional revenue. We've got to stop the bleeding. And that's what I thought we were doing. That's the concern I have with what's going to happen tonight. Um, obviously, it takes six votes to move this as an emergency. Um, it's got the votes. I'm not going to stand in the way. I can't. Um, it's got to come off the ballot because it's a dead issue right now anyway, because of the discussion that's happened last Tuesday and now tonight. And it's unfortunate that the vote of the people has been taken away by several members of the council and, uh, and overturned the decision that was made last by the, by the council from last year. And um, you know, when we decide an issue, I think it, it needs to move on move ahead, everybody needs to support it, and, and then you, you pick up the pieces or you move on from whatever decision's made, and then if it was defeated, you bring it back in a different way, in a different time. Um, that's, that's the problem I've got at this point in, in moving this issue ahead. Thank you. I would uh, simply like to address several issues, first of all. I've heard that the plan is not the issue. The plan is the issue. You don't go to, a business doesn't go to a bank without a business plan. A teacher does not teach without a lesson plan. When you have a plan, you have a target market. And all that the people have asked is what is the target? What roads are going to be paved? And that question does not seem to be able to be answered. <clears throat> One point. The next point. There seems to be some discussion, dissension, some misunderstanding as to this meeting that was held on the 8th was held in executive session. It was not held in executive session. Mr. Richter was there and members from, from the community were there. It was held in an open forum upstairs.
We debated it as we are debating it tonight. We're not doing anything tonight differently than what we did on January 8th. That's the second point. The third point, I keep hearing reference to the new council coming in and overturning something. Well, a statement was made last week, we had an opportunity to give our voice in December. Yes, we were sworn in on December 18th. However, it was not effective until January 1st of 2008. So whatever we would have said or done would have been as citizens, simply as citizens. Our input was not asked, but I specifically told several people that I did not think that it was prudent, nor was the time right to move this forward. I am not saying that it's not necessary. I'm simply saying that the time is not right. Now, to hold three <clears throat> members who were elect at the time at hostage over this or accountable for this is not fair to us. And if, they, if you all did not want our input, then it should not have been put on the agenda on January 8th. But since it was, I pledged to be a communicator to the citizens that put me in office, and that's what I'm doing. And so we would have come out of the chute either darned if we did or darned if we didn't. And so if we're darned if we do and darned if we don't, then I'm going to be darned on the side of what is the people that, represent, that I represent have told to me is what they want to do. Let's wait. Let's get a plan. Let's find the targets. Don't promise something that you can't deliver. Don't over-deliver. Just simplify it. Be simple. Get a plan together. Get your target. Let us all work together. Let us come together. This council is not at odds with each other. Nobody has called each other out of their names. Nobody has gotten personal. We simply had a debate. We simply agreed to disagree. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to summarize my views, I would say I can certainly see both sides of that being a participant in last year's decision to put on the ballot and recognize that we do have a plan in place that can be communicated. I think the challenge we're really faced with is the timing. In many regards, you know, with the primary being moved up from the original plan, uh, that certainly changed it. I think everyone here uh, and everybody in the, in the community recognizes the need is there. I don't think anybody on council disagrees with that. The plan could probably be developed and refined a little bit more. That's a challenge I think Ms. Gilland and Mr. Durch will need to do as we present that to the community. And then it's going to be up to council to help communicate that to the community. And I think that communication process is really the challenge that we're facing. Uh, there are different points of view in the community. I've heard from both. Some that say we should move forward. Others <coughs> that say we should probably step back, make sure we're as clear as we possibly can be, I, I don't know that we can be as specific as listing specific streets. That could be a little bit of a challenge as things change over time. But I do think we could refine things as to how big a project we're going to do. And I don't know if that's been clearly communicated uh, <coughs> to the community. We've talked about, you know, different levels of, you know, bond financing, for example, or doing larger segments all at once. Um, but I don't know that we've really developed that enough to present it. And I think that's where our challenge is. So. Um, I, I would be in support of stepping back, reevaluating the issue, but then make sure, making sure all of council and ultimately the entire city is going to be on the same page. We will have an uphill battle with the November presidential election that this will be potentially on the ballot for if council decides to move forward in 2008, which I believe we'll be addressing as we kind of look at our plans for 08. But ultimately, it comes down to council to communicate the plan and um, you know, share the vision for what we need to do with the rest of the community. So, those are my thoughts. Any other discussion or thoughts this evening? I would just hope that by pulling it off tonight, we're not putting it on the back burner. It's something that has to happen. We need whatever animal we use to come up with the plan. It needs to start tonight. Yes. And. Um, I'll look to the city manager to, for input, and I think we need to discuss that in our retreat. Um, Tony made some good points about a larger committee. I, I feel that's, that's a possibility, too. Get the heads at the table, and let's get it together, and let's keep it in, on the front burner so that, I agree, I think November, we've we got to go in November if we're going to do this. So now's the time to do the work, to get prepared, to do it, not wait until the 11th hour again, and then say, my gosh, we don't have time. Sure. So. 
there's no other discussion, uh, we'll need a motion to um, <coughs> waive the charter provision for the passage of the emergency legislation this evening. Or specifically move. resolution number R2008-01. Thank you. I move that the charter provision requiring reading on two separate days be suspended and the ordinance or resolution to be declared an emergency <coughs> measure and read one time only. Second. Ms. Park, could you call the roll, please? Mr. Becker. Yes. Ms. Ford. Yes. Ms. Jones. Yes. Mr. Marconi. Yes. Mr. Mulligan. Yes. Mr. Shaboni. Yes. Mr. Armbruster. Yes. Resolution number R, 2008-01, a resolution withdrawing the question of enacting an ordinance to impose an additional one quarter percent income tax on and after July 1, 2008, to be used for capital improvements to streets and roadways, and to amend Chapter 890 of the codified ordinances of the City of Middletown from the ballot at the general election to be held March 4, 2008, repealing resolution number R2007-46 and declaring an emergency. So move for adoption. Second. Thank you. Any other discussion? Ms. Parr, would you call the roll, please? Ms. Ford. Yes. Ms. Jones. Yes. Mr. Marconi. Yes. Mr. Mulligan. Yes. Mr. Schiavone. Yes. Mr. Armbruster. Yes. Mr. Becker. Yes. Now, as a matter of simply cleaning up the other issue, um, there is an ordinance revision that we made in ordinance number 02007-95 to, to uh, chapter 890 of our codified ordinances. It is the uh, council's implementation of this quarter percent, which clearly cannot be ineffective without the vote. Since we're withdrawing that, my suggestion would be that we repeal that tonight, and when we're ready to move forward, we'll take the necessary steps at that time. So I would ask that somebody move that the charter provision be waived regarding uh, the emergency measure, which is ordinance number 02008-01. I so move. Second. Ms. Parr. Call Ms. Jones. Please. Yes. Mr. Marconi. Yes. Mr. Mulligan. Yes. Mr. Chiboni. Yes. Mr. Armbruster. Yes. Mr. Becker. Yes. Ms. Ford. Yes. This is ordinance number 02008-01, an ordinance repealing ordinance number 02007-95 and declaring an emergency. I would note that the ordinance that in front of you does not have signature blocks on it. It also has a typographical error where it says resolution instead of ordinance. Those are all going to be corrected in the original so that the signature blocks will be there. However, the ordinance itself states this is simply a repeal and is an emergency measure. So move for adoption. Second. Point of order, please. Yes, ma'am. With corrections, though? With those corrections, with the signatures and the yes. typographical yes. corrections? Yes. Those will be made on the final ordinance, yes. <clears throat> Ms. Carr, Parr, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Marconi. Yes. Mr. Mulligan. Yes. Mr. Chavez. Yes. Mr. Armbruce. Yes. Mr. Becker. Yes. Ms. Ford. Yes. Ms. Jones. Yes. That is, that's all the legislation all we have related to this, and in as much as it is a special meeting, you're, what you're allowed to discuss at the special meeting has been discussed. <clears throat> so you're probably ready to adjourn. Yes, I think we're ready to adjourn for our next regular meeting, which is February 22nd in the upstairs workroom at January. Uh, January. January. Thank you. January.